In this lesson, we are going to calculate the electric potential due to a hollow spherical shell conductor. So this is a spherical conductor hollow. If it is a conductor, charge automatically gets uniformly distributed. We have got a spherical conductor, all charge goes to the outer surface and charge is uniformly distributed. We want to find the potential at an outside point and at an inside point. The radius of the spherical conductor, the hollow spherical conductor is capital R and the distance of point P or P dash, let us call it R. For an outside point, these charges behave like a point charge at center as per shell theorem so this q that is uniformly distributed over this conducting spherical shell can be assumed to be at the center to find the potential at point p so the potential at point p will be given by kq by small r if r is more than equal to r When we come inside, the potential is at same at every point because there is no force inside, no electric field inside. So this entire conductor inside becomes an equipotential. So V is equal to KQ by capital R for all points inside V same at every point and equal to V at surface so entire conductor including the cavity is an equipotential this is very important to remember if we have a hollow spherical conductor every point inside electric field is zero and every point inside V is same as V at surface. There is a charge Q that is uniformly distributed over this conducting spherical shell. If you plot the graph of V against R inside the spherical shell potential is same as potential at surface. So we will have a horizontal line parallel to R at R equal to R we reach the surface of the spherical shell after that it falls off as an inverse relationship v is proportional to 1 by r 